Hey guys, there's SoftTech here, and today on this episode of Inside the Gearbox, we will be checking out short stroking. Just how to do it, what it is, and the myths behind it. So, short stroking, almost always abbreviated as SS, has two main purposes to lower FPS and to prevent premature engagement at the same time. However, it can also be used to help increase rate of fire and help prevent overspin slash double shot by using a stiffer spring than necessary for, for a particular build in conjunction with short stroking. However, there are a few myths with short stroking, so let's head over to the bench and bust them. So short stroking is one of those things that people just spread myths about. That means I've got to clear them up. A lot of people say that short stroking, the concept itself, increases rate of fire or totally prevents PME. This is totally false. Of course, short stroking helps to increase rate of fire, but that's just it. It helps to increase it. It doesn't directly increase it. You can't short stroke a stock system and expect to get a 2 RPS bump. That's just not going to happen. In addition, short stroking itself does not prevent PME. It can help, but yet again, it doesn't do it directly by itself. Now that that is out of the way, let's actually get to short stroking. Short stroking is when you remove teeth from the pickup side of the sector gear, right here, and if desired, the piston, the release side of it. What this does is shorten your cycle, which can be used to help increase rate of fire, lower FPS, and help with overspin problems. However, it's mainly performed to lower FPS, yet keep high rate of fire. To short stroke, you're going to need a Dremel with some grinding bits. You can use a file, but I wouldn't recommend that unless you have a couple years on your, of spare time on your hands. Some safety goggles, and that's really about it. Safety goggles protect your eyes from the flying debris. You don't want to lose your eyes. You only got one pair, so keep them. As stated, you remove teeth from the pickup side of the sector gear and the release side of the piston. If you remove teeth off the release side of the sector gear, what you're going to do is you're going to create tap and plate timing issues, which can throw off your feeding, throw off your FPS, all kinds of bad stuff. Keep in mind, you do not need to short stroke from the piston if you don't want to. Honestly, I don't recommend it unless you're trying to eliminate as much weight as possible. If you SS or short stroke off of the piston, you make that piston proprietary to a sector gear that has the same amount of teeth. You cannot use a minus two short stroke teeth piston with a full 16 tooth sector gear because you'll get a lot of issues. You actually create PME just right there. However, you can use a minus two short stroke sector gear with a full stroke piston because, well, it releases wherever it wants to. In addition, be sure your piston has several metal teeth so you have at least one metal release tooth. You need one or your piston will commit seppuku. So this left one is not a good idea to short stroke and the right one you can short stroke up to one, two, three, four teeth. There we go, a properly short stroked sector gear. As I said, make sure you uh, short stroke from the pickup side, not the release side on the sector gear. Only short stroke off the release side on the piston and that should keep you good to go. Yet again, I don't really recommend short stroking off the piston because you can reuse the piston for other applications. Then again, if you want just absolute weight reduction, then it is good to short stroke off of the piston as well because metal does weigh a lot. But you do want to keep your short stroking nice and clean. Let me get that to focus. You don't want to nick the lower teeth. You just want to you know cut uh, grind away at the sector gear teeth itself and give it a nice, clean, and smooth cut. There you have it a guide on how to short stroke. Now, remember, short stroking doesn't directly increase rate of fire, it only helps to. It doesn't directly prevent premature engagement, it only helps to. However, it does directly lower FPS. I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Inside the Gearbox. It was a little short, but it was a topic that I wanted to cover and to make sure I hit all the bases on. So, yet again, hope you guys like this. If you uh, did, comment below. If you didn't, tell me why. If you did, like it. If you didn't, thumbs down and tell me why. I want to know these things so I can fix them and make them better. Until then, I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of whatever the heck I do. See you later.